Welcome to Living with Letters, where parents and caregivers and their pre-kindergarten children have fun learning together. Where adults wear their play clothes and see the world through their child's eyes. Today, we're under an oak tree that dropped most of its leaves and dropped quite a few acorns. Take a closer look at the acorns that we found. These acorns are just like the seeds that grew into a seedling and then grew into this very big oak tree. Let's learn more about how acorns grow into trees. Welcome back. Let's compare the acorn seeds that we found under the oak tree with the seeds we scooped out of the pumpkin and seeds from the apples we picked at the apple orchard. Look how much bigger the acorn seeds are compared to the pumpkin seeds and compared to the small little apple seeds. The acorns grow into tall big oak trees and the apple seeds also grow into trees, but certainly not as big as the oak trees. The pumpkin seeds grow into pumpkin plants. The pumpkin seeds we were able to roast for a nutritious and delicious snack. So we remember our fun experience finding acorns. Ask your child to draw an acorn and an old oak tree and make sure they draw themselves under the tree, so we remember our experience. We'll start with the trunk and some branches. Next we'll add all the autumn leaves, orange, red, and yellow autumn leaves all around the tree. And we'll fill those out later. We'll add a little bit of grass, but mostly just a lot of uh, dead leaves this time of year. And let's not forget to add acorns. Most importantly, make sure your child draws themselves underneath the tree with a big smile, enjoying picking up the acorns. Now we have acorns, a drawing of our acorns and a big oak tree, and they will both help us remember our experience. Let's learn how acorns grow while we read Little Acorn, written by Melanie Joyce and illustrated by Gina Maldonado. Little Acorn, discover an amazing story from the natural world. Written by Melanie Joyce and illustrated by Gina Maldonado. When I was just an acorn, nobody noticed me. I watched the world below go by from high up in my tree. I nestled under cozy leaves and sheltered from the rain, growing fat and shiny when the sun came out again. When the summer faded, the leaves turned golden brown. Bye-bye, acorn, said the leaves floating to the ground. Wait for me, I called, then ready, steady, jump. Wee, I tumbled through the air and landed with a thump. I giggled as I felt tickly teeny tiny shoots, and before I knew it, 
I had sprouted little roots. I started to stretch up, wiggling left and right, reaching up and up till I pushed out into the light. Warmed by gentle sunbeams, my little leaves unfurled. I was so excited to be back out in the world. As the weeks and months passed by, I grew and grew and grew. Squirrel spotted me and said, I've been looking everywhere for you. After reading a narrative book with factual information, it's a good idea to write down the facts we learned so we can dialogue with our young child about their experience outdoors collecting acorns and relating that experience to the story we read and the facts we learned. Acorns are seeds from an oak tree that fall onto the ground in the fall. Acorns sprout roots that grow down into the soil. Acorns sprout a leafy shoot that grows upward to become a seedling and after many, many years, an oak tree. Dialogue with your child about the oak tree and the acorns we found and the way an acorn grows roots and then a shoot until it becomes a seedling. The more conversation you have, the more likely your child will remember his or her experience finding acorns and the way an acorn grows into an oak tree. You will build your child's background knowledge about trees and seeds and expand their vocabulary. We are not expecting our young learners to be able to read and write their new vocabulary words, but they will understand them and use them in conversation and recognize them when they hear them again in another story being read. Young children especially love stories about animals and their connection to the world around us. I know you will enjoy hearing Nuts to You, written and illustrated by Lois Ellert. Nuts to You, written and illustrated by Lois Ellert. Look, here he comes, trying to hide. He can't wait to get inside. He's in the flowers, he's really bad. He's digging up bulbs. My mom is mad. So I got some nuts, ran out the door, tapped one on the sidewalk, and left a few more. Nuts to you, I shouted, loud as I could. That squirrel peeked out. I knew he would. We had fun today, finding acorns in the leaves under the oak tree, and learning about how seeds grow into seedlings, and then full-grown oak trees. We compared the seeds we gathered on the ground to the seeds we found inside the pumpkin and seeds from the apples we picked from the orchard. They're also different in shape and color and alike because the acorns and apple seeds grow into trees and the pumpkin seeds grow into plants. Dialogue with your child all week long about the experience in nature, the books we read and the facts we learned about acorns. The more often your child hears and speaks about new information and connects this information to their experience, the more likely they will remember it. Most importantly, have fun learning.